what's up everybody it's your boy Bradley Thompson here and this is episode 40 of the living the Canadian dream podcast and we are back finally I took a little break um, just busy with life so I had a bank of podcasts and this is the first one we're doing in person in a little while um, today I got a good friend um, a good friend from university college whatever you call it in yeah. Canada um, <laughs> Enrique Ponce say Ponce. Ponce. Yeah. Ponce. Okay, cool. I was really uh, scared about that word. Yeah, it's okay. Because I always thought it was Ponce. Yeah, I think people just mispronounce it so much that I just let them say yeah. Ponce. So yeah. I just, instead yeah. of correcting them all the time, so it's all good. How, why is it that pronunciation? That's just the Spanish pronunciation. Okay, of, cool. Yeah, so. Sick. That's yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I hope I didn't butcher it too much. Um, nope. But yeah, that's a pretty sweet name, man. Thank you. Pretty sweet name. Yeah, so we met um, at Sheridan. Mm hmm few like a few years ago yeah for sure yeah um and yeah we're friends ever since uh we were both in the same program bba yeah um bba marketing and yeah we just grinded it out together and you're finishing your program right now <laughs> i'm too. finishing I'm almost there Can't yeah wait. Almost last semester there. yeah um <laughs> you had a semester uh, a year off because you were in the student union well i took my How program down to part-time okay so that's what kind of got oh, okay. me there for a little bit longer. Yeah, but yeah. you were the full-time student union president. Yeah, for the last, for the last two years. That's so cool. That yeah. was a pretty intense experience. How did you like that? It was a good experience. I mean, I, I knew I had to weigh the pros and cons, and one of them was, okay, i got to extend my, my academics a little bit. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it was worth it. Um, it was such a, a valuable experience where you get to have so much impact on stu sure. students' lives. So that was a big push for me to do yeah. it. So I loved it. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah, yeah. It, so was it a good experience overall? Yeah, no, it was really good because uh, you know it's a platform where it's unique, unique experience. Yeah. It's one of those things where uh, you know you're president of a student union. It sounds a bit fancy and big, but it w that's not what attracted me to it. It was really what the role did. It, sure. it was an opportunity to you know uh, work with other students and 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 you know give back to the student population. So it was. I love awesome. it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah like yeah. when I was when I was in. Um, high school and even elementary school, I was super into like student council. Yeah. Like I was that guy. I was always into student council. But in and like, when you got college, older, just... yeah, I never did it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I get, I did the club thing. I did like the marketing yeah, association and stuff. Thing. Yeah. yeah. You, you Which was still like student kind council ish. Of involved. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was still involved in that way, but like for the overall school. Yeah. I remember you did the pitch contest. Yes, I did that as we well. We weren't even friends at that point. We and weren't. I, was, yeah. I was one of the judges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I hope you voted yeah, yeah. for me. If you didn't, <laughs> I think this podcast is going to end it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was when I was doing my dance stuff back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was good. I lived many lives. <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. um, so you like the student union stuff. Um, would you recommend it to other people? If you're thinking about like, getting involved like what do you, yeah what do you recommend? i i always recommend that type of stuff get involved to uh, other students as much as possible just because i always tell my narrative because i think i'm a bit unique in the sense that i came back to school post-secondary a little bit older yeah even right after high school yeah i uh i did some a different college yep. and then came to sheridan and i was pretty apathetic in the in, in terms of just coming to class and just do my own thing afterwards yeah but i think what helped me was just meeting certain people that in turn kind of talked about their experience for sure about clubs about uh get involved in student government and that's what really pushed me to get involved and mm -hmm. ever since then it's just been so impactful meeting people you just don't know where it will lead you for sure yeah yeah no i totally agree like especially like a college like sheridan like the college yeah. that or the campus that we were at um it's a commuter campus yeah like people do not stick around so. after class. they don't so it was a challenge yeah to engage students yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i can definitely see that challenge uh being a challenge for student union yeah but it's great for like meeting people that want to like also get involved yeah similar interest right? yeah so that's how folks are forming clubs and whatnot so yeah it's really good yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's sweet so that's that's awesome so you recommend people joining getting involved in any regard yeah whether it's with the college or student union yeah definitely yeah yeah like i think i think it's great i mm -hmm. think it's great and even like the events and stuff that you guys put on like even the events at the other campuses yeah with, like pub night and stuff like yeah. that's a huge thing right like people love it yeah no they they love it so it's it's always something to a platform for students to meet other students that they they might have some interest to so yeah that's what we always advertise yeah and i think like especially for uh, students like mm -hmm. when they're in school they're busy with their studies yeah but that time just 
flies by. It flies just by. Flies by. And if it's... you don't get involved, like you just kind of regret it. Yeah, yeah because that's... I totally get how hard it can be to manage your time with yeah. other things. Because a lot of those students have to work on getting their academics done, yeah. and then also they're probably working part time. Yeah, which yeah. is a huge challenge. But at the end of the day, the one thing that I always put out there to students is that you're all going to be graduating with the same sort of credential like For what's sure. going to make you different what's going to be that outlier totally and it's yeah. all these those type of things that of course get you involved yeah, yeah like it's, yeah like especially yeah. if you're not like working or anything like you should definitely be getting involved yeah like there's no excuse because like at the end of the day when you go into that interview you have yeah. no experience for work at least have like a club yeah. that's related to your field you mm -hmm. know what i mean like i think that's key like yeah. if you don't have that then what do you really have just a degree yeah a piece of paper that said you went to school which Along is obviously other, important, yeah. Like, but there's other people that you're competing with. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Yeah, it's 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 totally different, and I think a lot of people forget that mm -hmm. degrees, diplomas, they're essential, they're yeah. crucial for employment. But like, what else? you have to have other stuff. Yeah, you got. It's very competitive. Out it's there, com you know, it's competitive. It's yeah, yeah, it's competitive. So like, if you don't have that other stuff, like part-time jobs, internships, like clubs, you yeah. know, it's hard. It's yeah. hard. Yeah, and that's what I learned. That that's why I was always involved. Mm -hmm. um, even though I wasn't involved heavily in Sheridan, I was always mm -hmm. involved with, with other stuff on the side, like projects, oh, part-time yeah. jobs, yeah. all that sort of stuff. Always grinding. So. Yeah, always yeah, grinding. Yeah, always <laughs> um, are you reading any books right now? Um, I was reading, well, not reading, but listening. Okay. Um, what book was I reading? Or, sorry, listening to. Well, I finished the one recommendation that you had for me, uh, David Goggins. Oh, yeah. Can't hurt me. Oh, yeah. That, oh. I have to listen to it again. It's a life changing. It book, is a to life changing book. I felt like I had to give it one go of just listening, just to appreciate it. Oh, it's so good. And then a second, uh, the second one, which I'm going to do very soon, is more of like, okay, now really taking what he's saying, like the the first task he gives you, and like doing it, For implementing sure. it. Because I, I was just enjoying it. It's such a unique platform in terms of so just cool. like reading through the narration yeah. and then having a bit of this like yeah, a back and yeah. forth banter and it's awesome it's listening really to cool. him yeah, no, man. he has no bs type of guy he's so uh, serious but yeah other than that i just finished uh the memoir of uh phil knight true dog oh yeah yeah okay yeah and, and actually nike, it, nike uh, co-founder right? yeah co-founder yeah 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 That's he cool. uh I read that one and it was perfect because I had that sort of on my my list to to read slash listen. Okay. Uh, because I had a course. Yeah. Right now that you have to choose a mentor that's actually a book. Oh. And that's either cool. an entrepreneur or somebody that's gone through failure and yeah. stuff like that. So that was perfect timing for me. I listened to that. Yeah. And it was actually really good. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So you have a course where you choose a mentor. Is that elective or is that like? It is an elective. It's okay. a, probably the most unique slash weird elective i've ever yeah. had it's uh creativity and innovation in business okay and i don't know if you've ever had ed brooker i don't know i don't, I don't know he's i never had him no no if you, if you don't know who i'm talking yeah, about yeah. at this point then you definitely didn't have yeah, him. yeah but uh he takes a unique approach in terms of uh the layout of the class and i'm okay. sure you'd appreciate this given your new experience yeah. but he's no rubrics grades stuff really? like that he just he takes the approach of really shaking up the c traditional confines of how the systems are laid out okay and specifically the bba program at yeah, sheridan yeah. so that's literally one our big project for that class is um if we were to th rethink the program what mm -hmm. would that look like yeah yeah uh yeah so it's a bit it's good because he's trying to purposely make you uncomfortable yeah if you're that student that looks at the rubric that's what am i supposed to be doing how do i do this right for sure um you're not gonna have that with this class. yeah yeah it's really here's a question of the week that's like the pre-class stuff and then okay answer it the way that you want to answer it and then that's cool no judgment no nothing that's sweet uh, his test is like a picture and uh one question go really yeah <laughs> that's crazy it's crazy but i, I know what he's doing yeah and yeah it's he's making it's you cool. think which oh, is yeah. which is like what you need which is refreshing yeah because some other courses are very linear in terms of their approach it's kind yeah. of funny because my other class is the exact opposite yeah it's like the most detailed I've ever seen in terms of a rubric layout, sure. in terms of timeline, when, what do. Yeah. So it's it's kind of funny having this balance of that's, those two. That's yeah. sweet. Yeah. That's, that's really cool, especially for a creativity class. I think you need that. Yeah. You need something different. You need something fun. Yeah. So yeah. all power to them. Some people, it's, I hear both sides. They love it or hate it, and I'm, yeah. I'm good with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit. Yeah, you're getting through it. That, that's a yeah, really yeah. cool elective. That's sweet. Yeah. Um, so. so school's going well? Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. You're almost yeah. done. So the the capstone is a bit of a pain in the butt, but yeah. 
yeah. you know, you just got to go with it. Oh, yeah. You got to grind through that. And then, you, then you're done. Mm-hmm. Then you're done. And then back to the grind. Yeah, and then I figure out what's next. Yeah. 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 yeah that's good stuff. That's sweet, man. Um, so I, w- I ran into somebody mm-hmm. that we went to school with. Nice. Um, Chris. Do you remember Chris? Chris. Chris. There's many Chris's. LaRusso. Oh. Yeah. Ran yeah, into I've heard him about him at, at the gym. Nice. Um, like we both go to the same gym. So I bumped into him and we were talking. And then he was saying that you and Giselle are supposed to be doing a marathon, half marathon this oh year. Oh, my God. He told me this. And I said, <laughs> when I see him, I'm going to let him know. What's up with that? What's happening? You're doing a half marathon? And no, marathon. it's people putting words in my mouth, I think. Because yeah, I heard it. He's a pretty credible sword. I know he's credible, but He's the got person a nice that beard. Linked... I, I trust guys with beards. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the person that told him that, okay. I don't know. It's Giselle. Okay. Um, because she always tries to get me to do running more stuff. running. Yeah, yeah. Because we just did the 5K uh, Run for the Cure on Sunday. Oh, sick. How was that? Yeah, it was good. It was fun. Yeah. I did that last year. Nice. Um, with the Student Union, but this year was with the college, so it was cool. good. Where is? Where was that? Toronto? UTM. Missaga? Oh, Missaga. So there's different locations on the same oh, okay. day. So we did the UTM location, and it was a lot of fun. I love that path because it's just surrounded by nature. That's sweet. Um, I don't do a lot of those things. Yeah, where yeah. Close off roads and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. It's super fun. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just mentioned after that that it'd be fun to do push myself a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I said 10k, not half marathon. Oh, yeah, I heard, I heard half marathon. I heard Scotia Bank marathon. <laughs> That's what he told me, and I was just like, all right, yeah, sounds we'll sick, see. man. We'll see. Yeah. Um, now I'm gonna have to do a lot more training for that. Yeah. It's it was tough. Yeah. I, my ankle, my left ankle, oh, yeah. injured up, but I you just, have to prepare for that. You can't prepare. just go can't into just that. Go yeah. 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 So no. that's mayhem. So you want to do a 10K? Yes, that's like the next year? step. I'm just taking this year or next year? Next year, early next yeah. year, because nice. uh, I th- there's a bunch of race ones in the spring. So I'm going to look into doing Good, man. 10K. Sweet. Be fun. So know. are you getting into running and stuff now? Yeah, this summer has been the most I've run Sick. ever. That's good. So it's been a Running's lot of fun. fun man. It is. It's, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't really into it that much. Yeah. Like, I think I was maybe on the track team one year. Okay. Um, like high school, elementary grade, school? Junior high. Okay. Back in Alberta. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Um, and you're, just, I forgot you're originally from Calgary. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that just yeah. hit me. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been a while since I've moved, but yeah, still those are my roots. Yeah. But it's funny because I I was on the track team, but for some reason people thought I looked fast. Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I look fast. <laughs> And I remember one of the first races that we were. What was your hair like? Were you aerodynamic? Like, yeah, what was going on? It was a little long, so maybe they okay. thought it was like yeah. something extra there. So but flowing in the wind. Flowing <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> but it was hilarious because the first track meet that we had with against other schools, yeah. everybody pushed me to the front. Okay. And they're like, "Okay, you go. You're gonna lead the way." And as soon as the the, the race started, everyone just went right past. Oh me. yeah. And I was not the fat. I shouldn't have been up there. <laughs> yeah. Lesson learned. Good but stuff though. It's a struggle. But that's okay. sweet though. Like th- that's good that you're getting into it. Like it's good. Um, yeah. Running's great. Like I used to run all the time back in the day. Like I was yeah. in track and cross country, all that stuff. And then I stopped for a while, and then I finally got back into it a couple years ago. Nice. And I'm just like getting the legs going again. But yeah, it's yeah. fun. It's fun. When yeah, you start see- doing like races and stuff, like because it's like you need something to work towards. Yeah. If you're just running all the time, just jogging by yourself, it gets kind of boring. It gets p- boring and you kind of plateau a little yeah. bit. So you got to challenge yourself. Yeah. That's, I'm kind of getting there now. Yeah. Um, for me, like a goal was do 5k without stopping. That was like a goal. Yeah. yeah. For the longest time I was doing like 2.5, just going around. Circles, yeah. Yeah. And uh, not thinking that I could do it. That's and good. I pushed man. myself. And yeah, then I yeah. listened to David Goggins. Yeah. Yeah. And then I pushed myself even more and I did 10k nonstop. That's sick. Man. For the first time. Good. This summer. Which was awesome. Good. You know, how was your heart? Connect. Was it going? Your oh, heart yeah. was it going? But it's nice because, like, you just listen. Like, he's right. It's all a lot of it is just mental hold back. It's all mental. Yeah. Because your body can do it, yeah. but you're mentally saying, no, I don't think yeah. I can do it. Yeah. As long as you're progressing, like, slowly mm-hmm. and you're not overdoing it, you're not like, oh, like, I'm like super overweight and then I'm going to try to run a half a marathon. Yeah. That's, you don't do that. No, you, you don't do that. You got to progress. You, you need gotta... your body to, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you have to do that. Like even when I was getting back into running, like I would increase my, um, basically I would increase my uh, my duration okay. and then distance like every week. Yeah. So I don't overdo it. Mm. So they say like ten percent each week, mm-hmm. but like 
you know, the first week, you know, you do a kilometer, the next week, two kilometers, that sort of thing. Like, yeah. You want to go slowly. Like, yeah. you don't want to overdo it. Because I've found with a lot of people, they just go hard right out the gate. Yeah. And, and they get injured right away. Injured, they get discouraged because they're not getting right away. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a lot of that. That's the problem. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So I think that's that's good. Mm -hmm. The way that you're doing it. That's sweet. Um, but yeah, running's fun, man. That's yeah. good. And I, think I just got to get the right shoes. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. You don't want to get an injury. I need more anything. ankle support. <laughs> yeah. Even um, if you have an ankle injury, get an ankle brace. Yeah. Yeah. I got to look into that. Yeah. Because I twisted my ankle like a few years ago when I was rock climbing. Mm -hmm. um, and I got an ankle brace. And then like a month later, like after wearing it, it was good. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's so good. keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, David Goggins, man. Like um, he's a beast, man. So inspiring. Especially it's so inspiring, but I, it's it's like like what we were just talking about. I think you you, you got to take away and implement it in your own way, yeah, and, and progress to it. Because I, I think a lot of people, some of the negative comments that I've been reading about, they they, they take it at face value. Like you got to be David Goggins, but that's not that's not the point. Yeah, that's yeah. not what he's saying. It's no, not what no. he's telling him. It's like take it at your own pace. Don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah. Because people are like doing it like he does it, yeah, and then yeah. they're overexerting, hurting yeah, themselves, yeah. and then people are complaining. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I injured myself. It's like, yeah, you injured yourself. Yeah, you're, you're going to way too hard. Hundred miles. <laughs> you're trying to relax. be David Goggins yeah. right off the bat. It's yeah. like, no, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And like, it's crazy because even after reading that book, like even when I run in races and stuff now, like I will, that to you. I will cuss myself out yeah. in my head, <laughs> like mentally. I can't even say the stuff that I say oh, to yeah. myself yeah, 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 because yeah. it is. Like, it's just, like, that push. It's yeah, just it's like, the extra push. Yeah, it's just that mental battle, just, like, mm -hmm. man up. We're going to do this right now. And it's just, man, don't give up. It's awesome. It gets yeah. you hyped up. It gets me so hyped up. And yeah. I'm happy you can relate to that yeah. because it's just, like, one of those things, like, <laughs> if you never read that book, like, you have no idea. Yeah. 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 It's it, awesome. It's crazy. Um, What do you listen to when you're um running? Actually, that's a good or working out point. Um, I've had the same sort of typical playlist that I've I'm getting bored of right now. Okay. And it's a bit of a shame because like I love music and I love to yeah. discover different music, but yeah, I just have a pretty simple playlist of songs that I've just been liking for the last year or year or so. And okay. it's just, I don't know. It's like kind of electronic, a little bit of hip hop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really need to readjust my, my library and playlist. I just Do you usually run outside it. or? Yeah, yeah, usually. But the thing is that this is my first time where I want to keep that up, but mm -hmm. I, I just, like, how cold is too cold to run? Yeah. Is oh. there is there a, a barrier you gotta for wear you? Pants. you got to wear pants. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, I, I looked so, at yeah. that because I see some people yeah. still out there, and it's it's crazy. Yeah. But The next few weeks, I got some races. When's but, the, like, the, but, the yeah. last time you'll run outside for you? Uh, probably the end of the month. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Depends. Depends. Probably, I'm like, the last race I'm going to do is probably going to be the end of the month. Okay. Because then it gets too cold. And mm -hmm. the weather gets sketchy because, like, you don't know if it's going to, like, oh, is it going to snow this day? Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah, so. yeah. That makes sense. Um, but, yeah, like, I'll, I'll run on the treadmill, like, a lot. And I'll, mm. same with cycling. Like, I'll cycle inside a lot. Yeah, that's how you make lot. up for it. You just do it. Yeah, yeah. Those. I'll just do it because, like, sometimes you don't know with the weather. You don't know. Like, if I'm coming home, like, after this, I got to go for a bike ride. It's going to be too dark to go outside. Mm. So I'm going to ride inside. Oh, okay. So, and then that way you don't get hit by cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't have other less risk, yeah. barriers. Yeah. So, but, like, even when I'm on, um, like, the treadmill inside. Mm -hmm. Like, I have, I use an app. It's called Zwift. Have you ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. Z-W-I-F-T. Mm -hmm. um, so you can buy, like, a tracker for your, for your foot, for your shoe. Um, it's, like, 50, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. Um, you buy it, it keeps your, um, keeps track of like your, your speed. Oh, wow. So your steps per minute and your speed. Um, and then that syncs up with the app and the app is basically a game. It's a virtual world. Okay. So it's like, as if you're running outside. So I'll like put it on my phone, link it up to my Apple TV nice. and then like, I'll just watch it on the thing so I can see all my stats wow. and like it hooks up with my heart rate monitor, have it on the screen, but like I'm in a virtual world. So if I want to do workouts, like oh, I'll show it on the screen. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice. It's really sweet. Um, let me see if I can pull it up while I'm showing you, while I'm talking about this. But um, yeah, for uh, running and just working on in general, I get kind of bored with music. <laughs> Unless I'm running on the treadmill, I'll play music. Yeah. I'll like shuffle Kanye West and it's just like Kanye West for a while. Um, 
but like especially for like running outside long distances or yeah. like even just in the gym i'll listen to an audiobook or a podcast i don't know if you've ever tried that i haven't yet but like, i literally ju- so i was good. just talking to somebody about that it's so good i haven't tried it yet oh to me it's a game changer i don't know if i'll lose focus like i feel like i'm just so focused on like my running yeah yeah but i uh, people will tell me that you know, having that distraction of, of listening to a podcast actually just keeps your rhythm going. Yeah. You know, and I, totally I, I got to try that. Yeah. Especially if you want to run longer distances, mm. sometimes you'll well, like, this is for me. Yeah. Like if I'm running a long distance and I'm listening to music, I can tell that like every song is going to be probably around three minutes. Yeah. So I'm waiting for the end of the song to determine how fast I'm going <laughs> without even looking at my watch. So, so I already like, know, like, yeah. if I'm hitting, like, four minutes or so in a song, I'm going to be first kilometer down. You know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. So I kind of have a gauge, and that's why I don't like to listen to music. <laughs> makes sense. Because it's just, like, this thing in my head. Because now I'm you're keeping track of it. Based, on the, based on the song. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Yeah, I think I'm starting to do that, too. Yeah, it's and it's, like, not a good thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. is, like, the virtual world. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I just a screenshot. But, yeah, basically, it's other people around the world that are using it. Um, the running app is free, so you can actually use the running app. You just got to get a pod. So if you ever, mm-hmm. you know, over the winter, if you're looking to still run, like, yeah, could be beneficial. Like, I honestly, because treadmill running gets boring, to be honest. Yeah. And that's just from experience <laughs> of just being super bored. Yeah. 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 That yeah. Makes sense. That's sweet, man. Um, yeah. That's good. Like, David Goggins, man. <laughs> this always brings it back because, like, I had a, uh, I did a race recently, mm-hmm. and it was a, 12.5 race it was a trail race okay but the thing about this trail race is that it is all hills oh i couldn't do that like there are marked hills so the marked hills there's like i think there was three marked hills yeah and the hills were literally beast they're like ski hills like they're just beast but the entire course was just all hills like just all hilly all that stuff right i couldn't do that so throughout the like the hills the really really big ones like, dude, like, it's just that mental game in your head. Yeah. You're just like, you can do it. Just keep <laughs> moving. If you got to slow down a little bit, just keep moving. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. I if, you wanna, even if you ever want to do pain, that's a good one to do. <sighs> that's real pain. That, that one is I, just I have like to train up. a little bit. You know, get, oh, yeah. Get yeah. Some yeah. Next. Legit they have it every year. Yeah. It's um, it's called Chase the Coyote. If you ever want to do something that just like, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's yeah. just, it's just such a beast course. And it's just like. The whole mental game with David Goggins, like that's Jeez. a real challenge. Yeah, because you hear some of the crazy races that he does, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what the hundred milers and stuff. Bad water. Oh no, yeah, 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 bad water. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, They're, he's those, a beast. Those are next level. But yeah, for like books like that, he keeps you like he's in your head, mm-hmm. um, just sort of reminding you to keep going. <laughs> that's I don't know. It helps me especially for those races. Like it's just like it's a monster. Yeah. Um crazy though uh in terms of like lifestyle stuff productivity mm-hmm. what's your life like well it's a whole mishmash of a lot of stuff that i i feel like i get overwhelmed by so many different articles okay it's like i'll go on like uh the flipboard app okay and then i'll, I'll follow certain topics but then i'll read one app or mm-hmm. one uh article it's super motivating and then i'm like oh this is great you feel yeah. good for like a little bit but then the actual challenge is how do I practically implement it? Yeah. And I feel like I get paralyzed by so many different choices and options that I don't know where to begin. Yeah. 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 Cause there's a lot of good articles. There's a lot of, of good course. blogs. There's yeah. a lot of good people that you can learn from. But I think the big challenge for me is, is that foundation of focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's a huge one. Cause yeah. it's, it's building the habit and everything. It's like, I know, I know the, the map to get there. For it's sure. just, I don't know how to yeah, yeah, start yeah. and navigate. Do you have like goals and stuff? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a few things that I like. I, I there's so many different courses that I want to take and learn from. Yeah. There's language stuff that I want to really sure. nail down because yeah. you know, um, I I understand like ninety percent of Spanish, but I can't speak as proficiently. Mm-hmm. So that's one of my goals for sure. Yeah. But also just you know, just managing my time better and and so that I can get everything that I want done. Mm-hmm. That's a huge challenge for me, and um, you know, even focusing on certain tasks. There's some things that work for me, like the I forget what's the timer that 
the pro domo i think oh, it's called yeah yeah so like a productivity timer yeah um i don't know the one that you're talking about but i used to use one that was like a tree growing thing a tree growing the, thing. the tree would grow depending on the amount of time okay so like if you enter your phone before mm. that time then the tree like gets cut off <laughs> oh god <laughs> it's like as if it's getting axed but like oh, yeah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like a cool animation yeah yeah no that's good yeah. i use this one app called tide okay and it's nice because you, when you go to it, you can do a few different things. It can you can do like a nap, you can sleep, mm -hmm. and it has different sound effects to okay. like kind of ease and calm. Nice. And um, like literally, it plays like rain in the background or whatever Sweet. kind of nature sound you want. Yeah. It's free and it's nice. And so I, the thing that it, I like about it is that it takes the phone away from you because in order to use it, you have to put your fa your phone face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it times it for twenty five minutes. Oh. And then every twenty five minutes, five minute break. Oh, okay, so it gets cool. you away from your, That's what you're working on, That's which is a good cool. technique to kind of take yourself away from the work that you're doing and yeah. then come back to it. Just take five minutes to breathe, do whatever Very you cool. want. And then you can set it up where like every four. So do you use that all the time? It's called Tide, right? Yeah, I do. I use it all the time. It's uh, pretty good okay. because I think for me, I get in my head a bit too much in terms of the perfect way to start something. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, I think you got to get out of that mindset and it's like, you don't have to have a perfect start. You just got to start. Yeah. And that's what I've been really trying yeah. to adopt lately is just stop getting in your head about it. Just start brainstorming ideas, start sure. putting things out, start writing. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually you'll piece it together and you feel better yeah, every yeah. little thing you tackle. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I like about the timer because a lot of I've read a few articles where they say just just start it. Yeah. Just start it. Just go. No, I totally Give agree. yourself yeah. like. A couple minutes, and you'll be surprised about how you tackle things. Yeah. So t 25 minutes, and like I'm surprised how productive I can be within that small amount of time. Yeah, that's good. So I think that's just the building blocks of getting to where I want to be. But for sure, there's a lot of stuff out there. Yeah, like there's a few things that I've sort of learned from productivity. So like, one of them is like, you know, like starting, which is key. Yeah. Like you have to start. A lot of people like they say, oh, I want to do this blog or whatever. I want to be like a a YouTuber. Yeah. But they never create a YouTube video. Yeah. Or they take forever to create their first one. Yeah. So, like, that's the biggest issue for a lot of people. Well, the biggest issue, yeah, is perfect conditions. Get which going. Is, yeah. Is yeah, it's just not totally yeah. the wrong mindset. And that's applied to everything. Like, yeah, I'll eventually start working out when I get this, this, yeah, this, or yeah. when this is happening and when that. And it's like, And no. that never happens. <laughs> no, you got to make things happen with the conditions they currently have. For sure, yeah. And if, yeah, whatever happens next, if you get more things, that's that's nice. It'll for make sure. it better. But of course. No. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And the next thing would be like something like consistency. Mm. Like consistency That's is key tough. for a lot of people, yeah. um, especially when it comes to routines, habits, yeah, just anything like that. Like if you want to do a YouTube video, okay, you post one. It takes mm -hmm. you a friggin' month to do it. Yeah. When's your next one going to be? You know what I mean? Like so all that stuff is important. Of course. Um, and I, I think that's one of the setbacks a lot of people have is that they're not consistent. Oh, 100%. That's yeah. totally me. Yeah. Like I, I can talk all this all day, but yeah. – that consistency is what it is. Yeah, you know? it's very important. Uh, sometimes I'll fall off not using yeah. that technique or even uh, – I've been getting into meditation a lot the last few years. Nice. But then consistency. Yeah, It's yeah. tough. Yeah. Like I, 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 I tell myself it's so easy. It's 10 minutes a day. And yeah, yeah. It's so simple, but yet I can't get that consistency. For sure. Just yeah, make yeah. excuses up. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it's, it's so true. It's hard, but like you have to prioritize, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, and then kind of like the last thing, I guess, would be like um, like distractions. A lot of people get distracted oh, yeah. easily. You know yeah, what I mean? I do. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to remove the distractions from your life. If yeah. you like, you want to do like YouTube videos, but you, you know, you waste your whole night playing <laughs> like COD, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Call yeah. of Duty. Like, you got to like remove that. You gotta, yeah, totally. You got to set up yourself. the environment. Yeah. For me, that's a huge piece. Because uh, I have a good setup in my room where I have like a dual screen yeah. and everything. But still, I, weekends are the worst for me Yeah. in terms of productivity. Because yeah. I, I like I do my whole week of work, yeah. working the typical thing. And then and I always have this just setback of, well, it's the weekend. Yeah. You can chill out, relax. You deserve this. Yeah, it's yeah, like so yeah, BS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I give myself like this time to relax. I'm like, yeah, I deserve a break. Yeah. But then, no, it's like I need to get a ton of stuff done. Yeah. And especially that environment when I'm home For and sure. stuff like that, I just become comfortable. Yeah. Even though I have a decent setup. 
No, I get it. Yeah. You know? It's because everything's at home, right? Everything's like, there. So it's um, so easy to be just like, oh, yeah. I'll just do this. I'll come back. Yeah. One <laughs> of the things, especially I did for just throughout university, but also like I do it all the time now still, mm-hmm. um, especially for like I'll ha- I have a desk in my room. Yeah. So like that's usually where I do my work. Yeah. But if I need to get stuff done and I'm like feeling like I need to get it done. Yes. Like there's no like procrastination at all. Yeah. I will just go straight to Star- Starbucks. So that works for you, huh? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, you don't want to, like, you're not going to waste your time at Starbucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like what are you going to do? Home. You're just going to yeah. be, like, staring? And yeah, blah, you can blah, be blah. at home. Why are you going to waste your time at Starbucks? Yeah. Spend a couple hours and get everything done. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's a good technique. Starbucks is my life. So. Starbucks yeah. is your life. <laughs> yeah, especially for working. Like, I'm not a big fan of it other than the work environment. Like, mm-hmm. The coffee's okay. Like, it's whatever. It's just expensive. It's expensive. But yeah. um, it's not my daily coffee. But when I need to do work, like, I will go there. Because the atmosphere is just great. Yeah. Um, and then the library too. I used to go to the library all the time. Yeah. For university. Um. Yeah. No, that was just just a quiet environment. Yeah. Grab a coffee, just go chill for, set up camp for like six hours. Six hours <laughs> grinded out. I used to do That's that. It. it was crazy. Like oh it was just God. so silly. Yeah. 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 I remember. Oh, the projects that we had to do <laughs> grinding yeah, out till yeah. like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It just it's crazy. It's the grind. But I don't know. Like I think those three things are like key. Yeah. Like starting distractions, like consistency. Yeah. Especially for productivity. Of course, yeah. That's that's a big thing and I think um big thing that you know, I'm a bit older now and I think I sometimes I get in my head about, you know, not me- meeting certain milestones as well and then mm-hmm. this gets discouraging. Mm-hmm. But I think that's just it's ridiculous because a lot of us we all have our own different pace and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So uh it gets in your head but you gotta just let that go and just sure. do you and you know yeah yeah i yeah i i totally agree you know yeah. what i mean yeah. i i used to get discouraged all the time mm-hmm. of milestones like just crazy milestones. it's stupid it's, yeah it's, yeah it's it's some of them aren't even realistic and it's just like the stuff that you're doing whatever it doesn't matter to anybody else everybody else is doing their own thing that's it exactly. everybody else is working at their own pace yeah some people aren't going to work as hard as you and that's something that i didn't realize for years mm. is that some people just aren't as ambitious for you some people are just gonna work like just for money whatever Mm -hmm. just to pay their bills and that's something some people are gonna work for their career and that's something that took me a very long time to understand yeah and like i just always thought that in myself and i just like it finally oh yeah that's just the way life is yeah yeah yeah. yeah. no i totally that totally resonates with me too because i you know i i I worked different not a lot of different jobs but like i've worked you know, before I was in student union and everything, yeah. I worked in that retail industry for a long time. For sure. Yeah. What stores? Uh, I was just shopping drug mart. You know, oh, I, I worked nice. there for a while, and even, I, I, even between my first go at post secondary, and then coming back to that world and just being like, okay, I don't want to do this as a life. But then you look at the people that do it mm-hmm. as their life. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, if they're happy and they're yeah. good, then good, good on them. Yeah. You know, but for me, it's just I wanted I had a bit more ambition in terms of for what sure. I wanted to do and drive and purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff that you want to come in every day, motivating, driven to goals do that and stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It. Um, so you know, it's it's each to each their own and everything. But mm-hmm. for me, that's why I went back to school for business, wanted to sure. do things a bit differently, learn more skills and stuff like that. So yeah, and I'm I'm still. That's the big thing is mm-hmm. just finding work that really resonates with you yeah. and, and, you know, drives you to be there yeah. every day. So, yeah, like, honestly, everything takes time. Yeah. And then, like, my biggest thing is, like, ignoring the big milestones, like the crazy stuff. Like, yeah, if you have crazy just, milestones, just like kind of ignoring it, because, like, at the end of the day, as long as you're working, mm-hmm. stuff will just start falling into place. Oh, 100%. And that's sort of what I've realized is just, like, as long as you're working day in and day out, mm-hmm. like, giving 100%, like, yeah. it'll work out. Everything's like, going to work out. Everything you know career everything like it just happens that way yeah and sometimes you think oh like it's luck no it's just it's no grind, it right? happen. like it's it's st- and like there's a i don't even know what the code is but it's just like opportunities come with like um damn i don't even remember the quote <laughs> <It's luck. laughs> damn it this is gonna annoy me but it's basically saying that like opportunities happen to those people that work hard 
like luck is just a combination of hard oh, work. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what it was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of butchered it, but no, like, no, you I know, know what you're saying. You get the sure gist, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can quote that as Bradley Thompson. <laughs> yeah, <I just laughs> I'm gonna claim yeah, that one. Whatever. Michael Scott, Bradley Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> Have you yes, ever seen that? Yes. <laughs> you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. <laughs> yeah, Wayne Gretzky, Michael, Michael Scott. Scott. <laughs> that's classic. Oh, that's so good. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's 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 sweet. Um, do you have any daily habits that you're trying to do? Because one of the things, one of my problems back mm-hmm. in the day was. I even like literally up till like I always I just always like to try to like fit a lot of stuff on my schedule but I've kind of started to realize like okay there's priorities like I'm not going to be able to do everything in this day yes even though I have small little things I used to try to fit like oh let's take 10 minutes to do uh, Duolingo you know Duolingo yep. like try to get my French up Brilliant. it's just yeah. like I just realized you know what I don't have time for that right now <laughs> like so I'm not going to do that it's just not beneficial to what I'm doing right now yeah and then I just don't have the time, so I gotta focus on other things. So, how do you feel with your daily habits? Do you have daily habits that you think you can yeah. remove? Uh, yeah. That so you aren't being consistent with just because you don't have time. Like, what do you think? I, I've been like, like, like I said, that's been my biggest challenge is consistency. Yeah. But the one that I've been trying is um, meditation. Okay. And exercise is super important. For sure. You know, that's the one where I try to be a bit more consistent with and and whatever it is it's running it's doing whatever but you know i recently joined that well not recently but it's almost been a year since i've joined like a boxing gym which has been really good really beneficial doing something getting some active activity in Mm -hmm. at least a few times a week yeah and then um i try to just build the bit the most challenging one and i think one that's so foundationally important is sleep yeah proper sleep for sure so I've been trying to build just proper sleep hygiene and habits and That's stuff good. like that because I've had a bad habit of tending yeah. to watch stuff before I oh, go to sleep, okay. and it's not good because yeah. we all know how those bright lights and screens yeah. muck up our rhythm. And then you get into like the episode, and then you just yeah. keep wanting to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's been tough. That's definitely one of my biggest problems is not sleeping enough. Yeah. I need to like fix that. <laughs> it's tough because I feel – it's like this vicious cycle where I have this paralysis of procrastination and, and like uh, I'm not being productive enough. Yeah. And then before I go to sleep, I'm like, I didn't do enough mm-hmm. today. And I feel that this like weight of anxiety because I didn't get enough done because I wasn't productive enough. And then that therefore hinders my sleep, yeah, yeah. which just cycles over and it's going to muck me up the next. Isn't that yeah, just yeah. ridiculous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's That's just, not good. It's not good. It's <laughs> yeah, just a yeah. cycle of just yeah, self-sabotage. Yeah, cycle of death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My biggest problem is like, especially when it comes to sleep, like I will sleep like on most days at the same time every day. Yeah. But depending on what time I need to wake up in the morning – that bedtime doesn't change. <laughs> so some days really? I'm getting really, yeah, it just like, I will usually go to bed at midnight most cases. Most cases, yeah, okay. Yeah, most cases. If I have to stay up later, then I have to stay up later. But that's like when I go to bed. Yeah. So if I have to wake up at 7.30, I'll wake up then. But if I have to wake yeah. up at 5 o'clock. It's still the same. Yeah, I have a class at like, I have a class at 8 a.m. Um, and it's all like, I got to drive an hour to get to the class. And I have to be there, you know, an hour before because I got to prepare um, yep. just to make sure my final stuff is ready. So I have to wake up at 5 a.m. on that day for my class. So my sleep cycle just kind of just shortens on that day. Oh, no. Because I'm not going to bed any earlier. And that's, yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> <Try> <laughs> to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever going to be fixed, but I don't know. I mean, if you're, so, semester, I if you're know. so used to going to bed at that time, the only thing that yeah. will fix it. Is adjusting, which doesn't sound like you're gonna do, which is like, yeah, it's it's probably never gonna happen. If you so. if I said like, hey, why don't you try consistent going to sleep at like ten thirty? Yeah, I don't know. Because the the way to f- yeah, because yeah, that's one day where you're getting up at five. But the way to fix that is like maybe I'm gonna go to sleep at like ten ten thirty. Yeah, and get up early every day. Yeah, that way you get those hours back. Yeah, of productivity. Yeah, I, know. I hear a lot about that. It's, it's rough. It's it, tough. Like it, even for me, like I try to get up earlier, but it's like, I don't know, it's yeah. not happening. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I don't know. Like my schedule's pretty jam packed right yeah. now. So like, if I'm not working, then you know I'm doing a podcast or I'm just working out. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's just jam, 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 jam. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I take the odd nap here and there, which is not so good. Rejuvenating. Yeah. Speaking it's of naps, I recently went to Spain. Okay. Yeah. What a lifestyle over there. Yeah. Oh my God. Because they have the midday ma- yeah. nap, right? Yeah, and it's like That's literally so integrated to the culture and life. 
I gotta say that they are people that do not live for the weekend. Yeah. Every day is a day. Every so day sweet. is nice celebration with yeah. friends and going out. At, like literally every night, people are out having drinks and doing whatever. It's crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, it's 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 a nice lifestyle because they take their holidays quite seriously. Yeah. You know, August was like the whole month is like a holiday for them. Like so many businesses were closed, That's even wild. though it's like tourist season. Yeah. They'll lose money because they're. they're That's they're, wild. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. A lot of else. cultures are like that, even in um, South America. Yeah. Um, like, I know a few people that are from Brazil, and they have the yeah. mid, mid the midday thing where, like, businesses just shut down for a couple hours yeah. during the day, um, mm. which is crazy. I don't know. In North America, people are just always go, go, go. Yeah. That's just is, how it is here. Yeah. Which is, it's never going to really change. Yeah. It's such yeah. a culture shift. Yeah. If that, like, well, how's that going to happen? It's not. It's yeah. just how it is, but yeah, yeah, because like even in like I hear in France and stuff, it's the same sort of way. It's more relaxed. It's yep. like not wild, Mm-mm. like it is here. Even Vancouver is like yeah, more relaxed Vancouver is too. a bit more yeah. chill too. I think it's just the main cities in yeah. North America, probably yeah, like just... Toronto, New York, L.A. That's true. Yeah, we're just everybody the... else is just like good. Just yeah, chill. we're good. Yeah, we're gonna... they figure it out. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. I think that's just how it is. Yeah. Um. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, uh, music. Mm Because you were doing a music program before, and you were super into music before going to Sheridan. We've talked about it a few times. A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Um, What what were you doing? What's your sort of, what's your thing in music? So, before Sheridan, I went to school, a private college in Toronto, for audio engineering. For sure. And production. Yep. Oh, it's funny, because the program was called Audio engineering production and dj arts oh, dj cool. arts that was the hook i feel that they try to get people the to, millennials yeah, <laughs> to yeah. like sign up for this this program yeah yeah because literally it was one course on djing oh really <laughs> and it was only one turntable and you oh guys you had to share and learn really that way. yeah it was ridiculous oh my gosh. um probably not the greatest program but i don't regret it yeah it, yeah. it was an experience and a half because it, it was just it teaches you a broad spectrum of diff- all the aspects of audio yeah from recording, produ- producing, That's awesome. film, um, and it, yeah, it was there was good props and everything. Um, I learned a lot, obviously, but I just, it just, I was a bit naive. I was a lot younger mm-hmm. then, and especially that industry, mm-hmm. piece of paper is not going to do anything for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You've got to grind. You've got to network. You've got to yeah, yeah. know people. Yeah, and you got to set yourself up with a like a portfolio. And I was totally just absent-minded on that yeah and i had one good friend that i made in that that program and he was already established as a bit as a producer going okay. into it cool so i think he just wanted to take his stuff to the next level yeah but he already knew what he was doing and he did it properly he was networking building that and That's doing good, this yeah. and that um he didn't even end up finishing the program really but he's probably the most successful person that wow went yeah. so that goes to show you yeah, that yeah it yeah. really wasn't a thing um, you know, you have to sacrifice a lot yeah. if you want to make it in that industry, as you For know, sure. if any yeah, creative yeah. industries. And I just wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. You know, you really have to be in Toronto and doing this, this and yeah. that. So honestly, it, it turned into a, a very expensive hobby. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I still, you know, dabble in it. Not super intense, like, yeah. intense but I, I, I love music. I play guitar, bass, and just, you know, muck around. Nothing too serious. Yeah, yeah. But it's always there, you know. That's good, yeah. Again, once I get those predict- productivity skills yeah, down yeah. pat, then I'll have more time to put into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm honestly personally <laughs> trying to get back into guitar. I just, yeah. I just need to add it to my schedule or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, even once a week. Like, just yeah, like, pick it, it up. Just play just for Put it in an minutes. hour. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 20 minutes. Yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, because the minute you, like, start playing, like, you'll get into it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's my biggest problem. I just got to just pick it up. Just pick it gotta up. Got to pick it up. Um, yeah. That's cool, though. Like, uh. So, like, you talking about that, it seems that, like, when you came to Sheridan, you had a different experience. Like, you tried to network. You tried to do yeah. like, all the involvement stuff. Yeah, so it was it was a weird sort of transition. Learning because, experience, I yeah. guess. Because I had good experiences when I was doing audio, too. Um, and even trying to put myself out there yeah, in yeah. itself. Because there was one thing um, I had an opportunity while I was there. It was volunteering for a film, an, in- okay. an indie film. Yep. And uh, there was like three of us, and it was just by chance. Mm-hmm. But the the head of film came in and said, "Hey, do you have somebody for audio?" And the oh. prop just turned around, and there's three of us in the mixing room. And I'm like, "I'll do it." Yeah. yeah. And I did it. Um, 
uh, and it was good. It was a good uh, lesson in failure because yeah. I failed yeah. at it. I did. I they gave me the worst equipment. They gave me like a little Zoom whatever with okay. two inputs for mics for, for lavalier sure. mics. Yeah, yeah. And it was really muck, like screwed up because I was literally learning about this stuff in oh, okay. audio for film yeah, yeah, yeah. as I'm applying it. Yeah. And I think they had very high expectations of me. Yeah. And I screwed up the whole first day of shooting. Oh. They they booked out like uh, a jazz bar and everything. Oh jeez. I mucked up the whole yeah, day. Yeah. Um, Did you show up the second day? Well, <laughs> I got a call from from one of the producers, and they're like, "Hey, can you come in? The director wants to talk to you." I'm yeah. Like, oh shit. Um, and I'm like, "Sorry, I got I did have class. I didn't make that up." And it's like, "Okay, that's fine." And then I I go, will go in for the next day. And I find that they actually brought in somebody. They had to pay somebody to do it. And I was now assisting this person yeah, yeah, that yeah. was experienced in audio. Yeah. So that was a bit of a, uh, an experience. A humbling experience. Oh, yeah. A sure. very humbling experience. But I, you know, but at least you can I, learn I, from them. I grinded through that, yeah, though. Yeah. And um, yeah. it was a fun experience because we got to shoot all over Ontario. I still haven't seen the film, though. Yeah. Um, which I'll, maybe I'll see one day. Yeah, yeah. I have credit. I have an IMDb credit. That's so sick. From That's that sweet, man. Boom operator. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You're holding it? I was holding it. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. So that was a fun experience and everything, but you learn lessons from everything. And that, yeah. was, that was definitely one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly, every day I make mistakes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just human. Like, people that say, oh, they don't make mistakes. It's just a lie. Like everybody no. makes mistakes. No, so. no, no. Yeah, yeah. So. It's just as long as you learn from it, that's the most important part. Yeah. And then don't keep making the same mistakes. Yeah, of course. People do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's <I> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, every week we do a book of the week, app of the week. Mm-hmm. Do you have any book recommendations other than the classic David Goggins? I would uh, recommend that okay. memoir that I read, The Shoe Dogs by... Shoe Dogs by... Phil Knight. Phil, Phil Knight. Knight. Good yeah. book. The good Nike read. Book. The Nike book. Cool. A lot of great lessons in there. Nice. Cool. Uh, and then the audio version or like the book book version? Audio version is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Narration is good. Yeah. I, I honestly have been really into audio books lately. Yeah. Just because it's just great for listening to in the car. Just yeah, super easy. Running, just doing anything. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um, app of the week. Do you have any apps that you would recommend? <laughs> well, I have the one that I... It's hide, yeah. Yeah. There's also... Um, a couple of finance apps that I would recommend. Yeah. I like budgeting. I like to keep my stuff organized. Organized. Yeah. Um, there's one called You Need a Budget. Okay. You that one, budget. Uh, I highly recommend it because it keeps all of your finances organized. Okay. It is a bit of work. I'll mm-hmm. be straight up. So for some people, it's not for them. Yeah. Because there's, there's a feature where you can connect to your bank, but it's slow. Yeah. So yeah. it records your transactions very slow. Is it safe when you do the connect to your bank feature? I... I with that app, it is. I I, I think okay. it, it actually is because it's okay. just using the. That's always my. That's always no. my. And that's issue. a valid valid yeah. question, but you don't have to. I don't. Yeah. Because, people think I'm crazy, but I literally track every transaction that I make. Okay. Whether that's on my debit that's good, or my my visa, because it, it sh- it's front facing. It's like, oh, I'm spending a lot of money on this. Yeah. I budget my money in every different category, and I think I've saved a lot of money. I've been more aware. I've built good credit that yeah. way. I've that's tackled good. debt that way. So, highly recommend that. It's key. Yeah. Well, what you don't measure, you don't manage. Yeah. There you go. It's a so, famous quote. I didn't come up with that <laughs> myself. <you> <laughs> but that's good. What What is the app called again? I'm just gonna take it's, it. It's uh, you need a budget. Okay. Why not? Um, there's one that my friend recently told me about called Splitwise, which I think is fantastic because it's. Uh, you can add friends on it, and oh, it's cool. so whenever you split so they a bill, can see your poverty as well. No, no, no. <laughs> your stupid that, poverty. No, the split wise is all about <laughs> okay. like when, like, say you're like, okay, I'm gonna. I'll pay. I'll pay for this. I'll pay for this meal. Oh, okay. You put it in, and it will split it up. Based on tip and stuff. Based on tip. Based oh, on sweet. what, and then you you see how much okay. each person owes you. Nice. So it's very nice to track it. I, I felt like it's. Uh, it's really, really handy. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you, so other people don't see your student poverty. So. No, no. That's, that's all good. about yeah. stuff that you pay for. Like, okay. say, yeah, I pay for dinner. Cool. And then that's like, sweet. You that's split. good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. <laughs> that, make sure you get your money. Yeah, yeah. Okay? yeah None of these. Real though. To be yeah, honest. yeah. They're definitely freeloaders. You all have those friends. That Everybody are just like, has those. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll hit you back. It's like, no. Or they'll have the ones like I've had friends. Oh, they always forget their wallet. Like, can you always forget your wallet? Do you have a wallet? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it kills you, man. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, 
Do you have any learning resources? Learning resources? Yeah, yeah anything. Aside from the typical MOOCs, like I've really been yeah. into um, edX and Coursera. There's a few good ones that I've been. There's one course that I have to redo, but it's mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the most popular ones. It's learning how to learn. Okay. Cool. And uh, it's actually one of the top. Where's that? Where's that from? That one is on. Uh, I think it's on Coursera. Okay. Cool. Learning so how to learn. Learning how to learn. Super powerful. Yeah. You know, it's just. I wish that this was taught in high school or something. Yeah. Because it actually teaches you foundational things of how to actually remember what you're learning and uh, in it, she the 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 lead person that's teaching it has mm -hmm. such a great message of like and we resonate with this one it's yeah. like you might not be a calculus person yeah. and she says it she's like i wasn't but i adopted these strategies and this and that yeah and then she became like a professor of of the subject matter that's and crazy. it's like it really motivates you to say like i can learn any type of to uh, of a uh, topic and yeah. really just applying these strategies and how to learn it and give some time and uh and then actually take away from it so for sure I think it's super useful because I, I wish I had that stuff uh, like yeah, well ahead of time of when course. I was in, in post-secondary and everything. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that's good. Like, it's crazy that like you read books to help you how to like learn or like you take courses to help you're just, you how to learn. You're kind of thrown into these environments where yeah, you're yeah. expected, okay, they're going to learn. But everybody learns differently. Of course, yeah. And I feel like the strategies that they talk about it can be applied to every different type of learning that's style. Good. So that they can, you can figure it out, and then really be an effective learner. That's good. Yeah. Because how many times have you gone into course. a course and been like, oh, I forgot about that course? Yeah. You know. No, so. no, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, and I think especially for when because I did university and then I switched over to Sheridan, right. so one of the problems I saw, especially for that university and just university in general, yeah, they put a high value on memorization mm. um, especially when it comes to multiple choice you know all that sort of stuff yeah, you know you good. have a hundred question multiple choice and it's all based on memorization it's and not based on learning yeah you don't take away anything yeah. like somebody can get a high mark and, yeah. and then yeah, what are they actually getting away from that exactly that's why like the college environment is just so great like because they yeah. actually want you they actually actually uh, they actually ask you questions yeah that are valuable and mm -hmm. that you actually have to think about yeah it's not just memorization yeah, so no, it's like true. Reading the concepts, yeah. Good so that's interesting. Yeah, I would suggest it. How to learn? Um, that's sweet. We're always learning, so yeah, it's never yeah. too late to learn how to learn. Yeah. Are you learning <laughs> anything right now? Right now? Or do you want to um, learn anything? Is there anything that you're trying to go into? And you talked about productivity, habits, and stuff. Yeah, I, like I, I specific things. Time management stuff. I I literally was just on um, LinkedIn Learning because okay. they have. They've readjusted because yeah, they don't yeah. lend anymore. Yeah. It's a great platform. Yeah. Because now they they link it to your LinkedIn yeah, and based on your it, yeah. career. You've seen it's that. Sweet. So yeah. it'll make suggestions, which I think is just fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just listening to a productivity one, and I love how they partnered with Blinkist. Okay. So they make things very digestible. Cool. Literally, a whole book about productivity, they got it down to 15 minutes. That's sweet. So, yeah. That's sweet. I'm just going to keep hacking away at that. Nice. Stuff. Anything else other than time management? Um, skills? Skills. Juggling. Juggling. <laughs> Not really. Unicycle? Nothing? Uni unicycle. <laughs> no? Nothing? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things that I, I enjoy doing, and I've been open-minded to learning stuff, so I'm sure there's going to be something. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's definitely, like, a lot of stuff that I want to learn, especially for this year. Like, Language is a big one for me. So That's I've, good. I yeah. want to get Spanish down, and then I want to go French and yeah, whatever next. Interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. good though. It's like, amazing. Yeah, languages are so versatile, and you'll always use them. Yeah, I just felt like such a schmuck when I went to Europe, and then yeah. there's so many people that are like travel traveling, and they're like, I know four languages. I'm like, what the? Yeah, I know. And, and that's like the standard. Those ones like, always get me when people say they know multiple languages. Yeah. That stuff rattles me, mm -hmm. and I will never understand that because you know I'm barely I barely got this one down. So <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Um, do you have any other hobbies? Other I have a lot. Yeah, what, I what think that's a problem. Do do? Sports, so basketball, table yeah? tennis, as you know. Um, yeah, nice. Still play table tennis? Sometimes. Nice. I get around to it. Nice. Um, yeah, just sports. Yeah. Um, do you play in any leagues or anything? Don't play anything competitively. No, I just uh, 
like playing basketball, soccer, and watching. Okay, cool. Watches watching English Premier basketball. Sweet. NBA, Who's you your know. favorite? Uh, like English Premier team. Chelsea is okay. my team. Okay. They're doing okay this season. Interesting. So far. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't follow um soccer enough. I yeah. should. Yeah, yeah. I really should. You should. It's I good used stuff. to a I lot. It. I used to follow a lot. Yeah. Um how about basketball? Who's your favorite team? The Raptors? Yeah, it's gotta be the Raptors. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's, no, I, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> um every year I do a uh I do fantasy leagues and stuff like that. So I do hockey fantasy league and Are you a fan? I'm you know what? I never was a Leafs fan, but I'm kind of enjoying the Leafs now because they have players that I like to watch, yep. like Marner, like Tavares. Yep. They're great players. I can sort of hop on the bandwagon for that. Um, Good stuff. But I'm a Devils fan, so oh, I've always I been knew a that. Yeah, I knew I'm that. always I've always been a Devils fan. Yep. So, yeah, that's my thing. But it's crazy. Like every year we do fantasy leagues. Um, I'm in a couple, so like basketball and hockey. So you pick your own players and stuff. Yeah. Every year I get destroyed. <laughs> Every year I get destroyed. I'm actually doing well in hockey right now, so okay. it's still early. So it's only been like a few games for some teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to get destroyed. Yeah, it's crazy. Time. It's a good yeah, time, yeah. though. Um, yeah, basketball leagues are good. Mm-hmm. I'm doing one right now. So I play um, Monday nights. It's mm. fun time. Oh, you actually play league? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I play a league. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. My entire team is Filipino. Oh, God. That's pretty cool. That's, That's pretty awesome. Sick. Yeah, yeah. So I'm the only non Filipino <laughs> person. It's so funny. It's awesome. Um, so we played um, before, a lot of us. Um, so we played in the summer, and then mm-hmm. we just sort of continued. So nice. If you ever want to join, just let me know. Yeah. I'll toss you on the team. Yeah. And you Maybe will on. be the only other non Filipino. There you go. Yeah. That's it, okay. It's a good time, though. It's a good time. Um, <laughs> But yeah, man, sports are great. Do you have any it. other hobbies, like creative hobbies? So just music. Yeah. Uh, games. Nice. What kind of games? Uh, I've been playing a lot of my Switch lately. Yeah. So Nintendo big Nintendo Switch. fan. Yeah. Love it. Have you played, um, aside from Switch, have you played the Mario Kart on the phone? I have. Oh, dude, it's so good. I actually so love good. it. I actually love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my life lately. Like, I'll just be chilling and I'll just play it with one hand. Because you can play with one hand. Which I is know, I love it. The People ideal are, game. are ripping on it because it was the setup that way, but I totally get why. It's, it's perfect. Good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Because most games, you have to use both of your hands. Yeah. So if you're doing something else, or like you're not paying attention, or you just want to chill. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, super chill. Yeah. It's perfect. Um, yeah, that's been my, my game go-to. lately. Yeah, yeah. That's my game lately. Yeah. But you like Switch. I do. Like Smash Bros? Yeah. Not so, bad, not bad. I'm not like super intense like some people. Uh, yeah, are. I'm trash at all those games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I'm a PS4 guy. Yeah, I have a PS4 as well. A PS4. So, oh, you're yeah. real. You're serious, bro. That's your productivity thing right there. There you, you go. You have to remove the device. Oh, I know. That's too much. It's honestly like once you start playing like a game or something, you can get sucked it in. Sucked it's in. like Netflix. Yeah, yeah. For some people. Yeah, that's my other hobby too. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you get sucked in. Like that's the biggest thing, to be yeah, honest. Like, yeah. you get sucked down this hole. Um. Okay, uh, let me see if I have anything else on my list. No worries. Things that I want to talk about. What's your favorite beer? I know you're a beer guy as well. What's your favorite beer? You like unique beers. Unique beer? Yeah. Um, or just in general, what's your favorite beer? I don't think I have like a favorite favorite. Okay. But um, I uh, I recently tried... This beer has been around forever, but like my brother just recently showed me this one. It's uh, Miller High Life. Miller High Life. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like cheap. Yeah. Goes down smooth. Yeah. Why it's not? Good beer. Why yeah. not? Yeah. I've been liking uh, Miller Light lately. Miller Light. It's okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. And then like if you're having a couple, then like it doesn't like make you bloated. Like I actually feel, I actually enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. That's the thing. Cause there's some beers that just, yeah. No. Like I like the it tastes okay, but like I don't drink like I have other beers that I like just for like I like Moosehead like yeah. Keats like the standards, but um, yeah that's interesting. Another yeah. high life. It's it's, it, it's kind of it, it just came back to Canada or it just came to Canada. Yeah, recently. I think that's why because yeah. it's been around for a while, but it just came to Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah which is interesting. What's your yeah. favorite um type of coffee? What's your go to? I'm pretty straight. Yeah. Like I just anything. Uh yeah, I and I drink my coffee black, so it's just yeah, same. You know, that's how you do real it. man, <laughs> real real coffee. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's <laughs> some people can't handle it. It's oh, I like, know, like it takes a very um specific taste. Yeah, yeah, you have to be into it. You have to be a real coffee lover to drink it black. 
Oh, yeah. But even like people that are obviously coffee lovers, they drink it a certain way. But I don't know. I just like the taste of coffee. And then Love you it. don't get all the extra crap in it. Yeah, no. Sugar just and healthy. milk. Just. And, uh, but uh, what's your favorite type of coffee? Type of coffee? Um, it could be a place. Like Starbucks. Are you a Starbucks guy? Tim Hortons? McDonald's? <sighs> McDonald's is my more. Yeah. Uh, same with me. Yeah. My preference. Yeah. Like especially for like a daily coffee. Like oh, yeah. I'll grab that. Because you also get like the sticker. Mm -hmm. Free cups after a while. Yeah, it's key. Oh yeah, it's life. It's beautiful. It's my it's my life. Um, <laughs> who are your idols? My idols. Yeah. You read a lot of biographies and stuff like that. Who is your idol? Or if you have multiple. Um, I don't know if I have an idol, but reading some of those memoirs, I read Elon Musk's too. That okay. was pretty cool. That's good. He's probably up there in terms nice. of somebody that I would. Yeah, he's a very cool guy. It's he's done a lot. Productivity next level. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No one else. Really yeah, because he mind. was even like, which a lot of people don't realize is that like he was a co-founder for PayPal. Yeah. Which is insane. A bunch of other companies too. Yeah. It's it's wild. Yeah. 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 This is a beast. He is a beast. Um, like even like that PayPal and they call it the, um, what do they call it? The PayPal, um, not army, not clan, not <laughs> cult. <laughs> I forget what it is. Not the tribe. They use a specific word. They have a like a name for it. Mm. It'll come to me. Um, but like the co-founders of PayPal. Okay. So all of them went on to do crazy things. Like one of them was uh, Reed Hoffman, who co-founded uh, LinkedIn. Jeez. Another one, I think, co-founded YouTube. Wow. Another one, I forget. I'm going to forget. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, then obviously they Elon Musk. Yeah, they all just went on to do crazy things. Mm -hmm. It's wild. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. They're just beasts. Yeah, all of those guys are just beasts. Um, that's cool. Yeah. So Elon Musk, that's it? Yeah, I mean, there's other folks that... I think the ones that really inspire me are the ones that give back yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, for sure. Bill Gates does a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's um, very inspiring. Buffett. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, Warren Buffett. Yeah, those guys are just very smart. They're smart with their money, and they give it back. And, you know, they invest in the future. Yeah. So, Do you ever go on these, like, rampages of, like, just learning everything you can about, like, Yes, I do that person? all that time. Yeah, when yeah. I If I learn something new, I'm like, and I'll go on the Wikipedia page and then yeah. go off on a tangent. Yeah. There's – actually, there's another thing that I, I – uh, I, it's like a daily habit. It's a website I visit every day. Okay. Um, it's called uh, the – I'm not going to say it, but the effing homepage. Okay. That's literally what it is. Okay. And they'll just have a random fun fact, words of wisdom, and then it has categories of a bunch of other stuff. Oh, that's but cool. Like every day it changes. Oh, that's cool. And there's been so many websites that I've discovered because of this that's homepage. That's and like they're Stumble actually upon. like really, yeah, <laughs> like stumble upon. <laughs> but it's every day it's a homepage, gives you that's something cool. different. So I would definitely suggest I'll to check, check that out. out yeah, because yeah. It's, it's fun. It's like every day there's something new and. You know, you never know what what's. That's really on. cool. Yeah, yeah that, that's always cool because yeah. like I usually uh, tab on my Chrome called Momentum, where it gives you like a new tab each day, like a beautiful picture oh, with like yeah. a quote. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um. So I have that on all my browsers just because it's just like it's sweet when you click open tab, you can like see a beautiful picture. Like, that's oh, awesome. I want to go to Europe. Like that sort of thing. Um, yeah. That's sweet though. This page has a picture of the day too. So oh, that's cool. That's just yeah. to set up differently. There's words of wisdom and then picture of the day. Sweet. Check it out. That's cool. I'll check that out. Yeah. yeah, no, because the reason I asked you that is because, like, I often go on rampages. Like, oh back in the day when you mentioned Warren Buffett, back in the day I went on a rampage. Like, in high school, just yeah. read just every book. Yeah. Like, every, like, podcast. He was, not even podcast he was on. He was on interviews and stuff. Yeah. I would, read, I would watch all of them, like, watch all his, like, bios and stuff. It's crazy. I yeah. just go on those rampages. Right yeah, now, I don't think I have one. Yeah. Uh. Maybe uh, Lionel Sanders. He's a famous triathlete. So that's who I'm sort of yeah, really, really focused, focused on, on, like learning sort of all the stuff, watching his videos and stuff. It's cool. cool. That's awesome. Um, I think that's it for today. Awesome. Um, so we will wrap it up. So at the end of every episode, we do a question of the day. You can ask the audience a question, something to ponder. Hmm. So take a minute to think. Um, <laughs> it can be anything. Favorite color. <laughs> you know what I mean? Favorite sports team, favorite beer. Um, yeah. Or anything. Yeah. Question? Yeah. Question to the audience? It's a question, yeah. Some people have said, uh, what are you like passionate about? Some people have said, um, 
that's like what is your dream destination that mm-hmm. sort of stuff dream destination okay I guess uh, I would ask what gets you excited every day like what cool. gets you motivated what gets you excited each and every day what gets I know you it's excited? kind of a deep no, broad no. question but it's something that people can ponder and think ponder about. Ponder and think about. Yeah, because that's important. That's a yeah. quality question in life. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's awesome. a big one. Thank you, man. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate, appreciate it. It was good to catch up. Yeah. Um, we will do this again sometime. Awesome. All right, man. Thank Peace you. out, everybody. Thank you guys for listening. Um, until next time, we will see y'all on the flippity flop. I messed up the last words. Flippity flop. <laughs> Peace flop. out, yo. <laughs> Canadian dream.